Welcome to Adrenal Repair, your Born Out Solution. My name is Stephen Boyle, and I want to first off thank you for attending this webinar. Now, in this webinar, you're going to learn my five simple hacks to beat chronic stress and get into amazing shape. Now, this is a free webinar, and I'm going to cover everything that you need to know to put your body into a position where it can heal and repair from burnout, from adrenal fatigue or adrenal dysfunction. It's got many names, but if your body is run down and you just don't have that energy that you used to once have, it's a sign that you're dealing with some sort of adrenal dysfunction. I like to call it burnout because that's essentially what it is. The body's just run down. Now, the reason why I give all this information for free that I'm going to share with you is because I think everybody should know how to look after themselves. We're going to look at this as a fundamental level that we need to have in place. These fundamental principles that we need to cover so that the body can start building and repairing. And then from there, once we're out of born out, then we can start building the body stronger, becoming more robust to prevent this from ever happening again. Now, there will be an opportunity to work with me at the end of the webinar. Okay, if we find that we're a good fit and you, you meet my criteria and you need that extra help. But if you think you can do all this yourself, you're going to get everything you need from this webinar. So do stick around. Okay, let's get into it. Now, this is a self-care model. So we're going to learn how to look after ourselves. Okay, we're going to learn the skills needed. Okay, that we don't have to rely on some random diet that someone thought worked for them and they shared with you and you might get some results for a couple of weeks and then you just drop off or you don't see the results anymore and you just fall back into your old way of doing things we're going to learn the skills and then what you can do is when you understand it, you can modify it to suit your needs and your preferences now, i love this quote catch a man a fish feed him for a day teach a man to fish feed him for life so that's what we're after. Okay, let's see if you can relate. So these are symptoms of adrenal fatigue or burnout. Difficulty getting up in the morning. Feeling fatigued even after a good night's sleep. Craving salty foods. Increased effort to do everyday tasks. Like everything just feels like a chore, no, ha no matter how small it is. Feeling lightheaded when you stand up. And the lack of drive, you just don't have that motivation that you maybe used to once have. Well, I'm here to tell you it's not your fault. Now, the real problem is that your stress bucket is full. Now, I like to use this analogy of a stress bucket. We all have this stress bucket and everyone's got a different size bucket. We all got different genetic potentials. Some people can handle a lot of stress. Some people can't handle much at all. Okay, so it's going to be different for everyone. Okay, and I break up stress into three main categories. Okay, so the first one is mental and emotional stress. So this is financial issues, relationship problems, just worrying about the future, trauma. Now trauma can go right back to when you when you were a child. Um, trauma is this is actually an, an area where a lot of people look past, but this is a big one. This takes up a lot of can take up a lot of space in your stress bucket. The next one is structural and biomechanical stress. So injuries add stress into the bucket. So uh, injuries cause inflammation. Your adrenal glands have to release cortisol. We're going to talk about this later. Release cortisol, which is the stress hormone. And it's also an anti-inflammatory. So any injuries you have, cortisol is going to be released. So the cortisol goes into this bucket. Okay, Poor posture, weak muscles. Weak muscles can cause injuries and we can just get stuck in this loop. So our goal is to turn off the cortisol tap. So again, we'll talk a little bit more about this later. So we have mental emotional stress goes into the bucket. We've got structural stress. And then we've got chemical and biochemical, which is food sensitivities, parasites, bacteria. So all this causes inflammation. Again, cortisol is going to be released to bring the inflammation down. And this is all adding to the stress bucket. So a full stress bucket directly affects your nervous system, triggering the fight, flight, freeze response. Now, first off, your nervous system is also known as your autonomic system. It controls your heart rate, your body temperature, your blood pressure, 
all your organs, your digestion. It does all this without you even thinking about it. Okay, but when your stress bucket gets full, it can trigger what's known as the fight, flight, freeze response. Now, we touched on this earlier where we spoke about the nervous system being primitive. It just cares about keeping you alive. And that fight, flight response was very important back when we had a lot more threats against us where we could be attacked by another tribe or maybe an an animal, a predator come, is coming for looking for its lunch. We need to kick in that fight flight response. So either fight back or get out of there. Okay, but modern stresses are different, but your nervous system just reacts the same way. And I like to look at the nervous system like a smoke alarm. So let's say I'm cooking steak in the kitchen. Now nine times out of ten I smoke out the apartment. Now I know I got things under control, I know the apartment's not going to go on fire, but the smoke alarm detects the smoke because that's all it understands and once it picks up on the smoke it starts ringing the alarm, Okay, it starts sounding the bells because it cares about keeping me safe and alive. Now it doesn't matter how much I shout at it and scream at it and tell it that everything's okay, it doesn't understand that, it just understands okay there's smoke in this room, I'm ringing these alarm bells. And it's very similar to the nervous system in that way. And here's why I compare it to the smoke alarm. Your nervous system is not cognitive. It doesn't understand language. It's been around well before the invention of language. So it doesn't matter what you say. If your system feels threatened and feels stressed out, it doesn't matter what you say to it. It's still going to be ringing the alarm bells. It's still going to be trying to keep you alive and overworking. Your nervous system can't see your environment, just like the smoke alarm can't see that there's no fire in the apartment. The central nervous system only cares about keeping you safe and alive. And the language of the nervous system is stress, where the language of the smoke alarm is the smoke. So we got to start communicating to our nervous system through stress and lowering stress. So that stress bucket's full. We're going to be stuck into this fight-flight response, which eventually will run us down. Now, you could feel good for a certain time uh, in this fight-flight response. So this could be, you could be holding down two jobs, okay, and, and wake up every day just on top of it, just crushing it. But you can only last so long. Some people might last weeks, months in that situation. Others might last years. But we can't stay in that stress response for long. Eventually, it's going to get the better of us. So the good news is I've simplified a five-step approach to communicate to your nervous system. Okay, because it can be such a complex topic and it, it can be very difficult to narrow it down. How do I approach this? But I've simplified it for you here today. So the key to your success is to empty your stress bucket with my five discoveries, also known as the DRESS protocol. D-R-E-S-S, which stands for diet. We're looking for an anti-inflammatory diet, rest, quality sleep, exercise, just the right type of exercise and the right amount depending on your stress levels. Then we've got tools for managing stress. And then the last S is supplements. So diet, rest, exercise, stre uh, stress management and supplements to support the process. This is what's going to move you from born out into a position now where you can heal and fully repair. I like to look at this as our own user manual. Okay, with this approach, you will understand your own user manual and how to read it. We're brought into this life without one, and we don't learn how to read our own manual through school. If we're sick or something shows up, we're told to go to the doctor, and then the doctor usually just treats the symptom with some medication. Okay, now I'm not having to go at doctors. Doctors are great at what they do, and they specialize in saving lives, but when it comes to prevention, that's not their specialty. Okay, so we need to learn how to look after ourselves to prevent that trip to the doctors. Because if we're just treating the symptoms with the doctor, we're not getting to that underlying cause, and this is going to lead to more problems and complications down the line. And the only reason I can share this with you is because I've been working for over a decade with people just like you. So this is me, Stephen Boyle. I'm a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner and a holistic lifestyle coach. 
So I've been personal training for over 10 years. Uh, I've explored many different training methods. I'm always open to learn new skills. So for the last few years, I've been diving deep into gymnastic strength training, hand balancing. I've been doing martial arts for over 10 years. And I used to believe to be healthy, you got to get in great shape and you got to work very hard. You got to push the body hard day in, day out. And I've learned that this is not the best and most healthy approach to getting in shape. It's a great way to get injured. And I've had my fair share of injuries over the years. And then this is what led me down the road to becoming a holistic lifestyle coach. To look at the full picture. Okay, training is very stressful on the body. So we got to look at the stress load we're under. And then that dictates the intensity of our workouts. And that changed everything. Once I started to implement the holistic lifestyle coaching into my training and my clients training, it changed everything. So here are a few clients that's been through my program. So we've got Andrew here on the left. He came to me with no background in training. He just wanted to get in shape and put on a bit of muscle. So we looked at his lifestyle. We tweaked it a bit and got him on a program to build some muscle. And as you can see, he put on quite a bit there. That was, I think there was eight months between those two photos. In the middle, there's Declan, who's Four Nations Muay Thai kickboxing champion. Uh, with him, we were focusing on his weight cuts for his fight. So it was really done in his uh, diet and sleep. His exercise, his training, he was already training loads, but we needed to make sure that he was getting the rest and recovery that he needed to lose the weight, to lose that extra body fat to get down to the his fight weight. And then we have Dal. Dal's been with me for seven years. Um, yeah, before she came into the gym, she wasn't very active and after a few weeks of dialing in this lifestyle there was no stopping her and now she's doing her own thing she knows exactly what she needs to do to look after herself and she does the drop-ins every now and then just to keep uh, keep in touch and just to make sure that she's on the right path and she's hitting her goals so this is sean entrepreneur business owner and a father of two now, this is someone who has a dial in. We've been working together for over two years now. And when it comes to nutrition, no matter what it is, he has it down to a T. He knows exactly now what he needs to be doing to stay on, on top of his stress levels so that he can optimize in his workouts. And as you can see, the guy is in amazing shape. So this is what happens when you're disciplined and you really commit to adopting this healthy lifestyle. So this is Mehdi, entrepreneur and business owner. He came to me with the main complaint was digestive issues that he was dealing with for a few years and just feeling run down and burnt out. And this all happened after setting up his own business a few years ago. He started to notice that he was under a lot of stress and a lot of pressure and his lifestyle wasn't supporting all the stress that he was putting himself under. So his stress bucket filled up, he experienced burnout, and then these symptoms started to show up. So we found some healing opportunities. We went to work. We cleaned up his digestive system. And after three months of working on his lifestyle, he had no more digestive issues. And he had the tools now to look after himself and continue with his own business. I also run a YouTube channel for people dealing with panic disorder and depersonalization. This is something that happened to me. When I was saying I was pushing things too far for too long, I hit a wall and I had my panic attacks. And you can hear my whole story. I put it up on my channel. It's Adrenal Repair on YouTube. Uh, but if you are dealing with anything like depersonalization or panic attacks, there's a lot of tips in there. Do check it out. Um, but yeah, this is what led me down the road to be doing what I'm doing now. So before I move on to this dress protocol, I want to talk about the stress hormone cortisol. Okay, this is fundamental. Knowledge is power. We need to know just the basics of how, how stress affects your physiology. So do stick around. The stress hormone cortisol is responsible for three major roles. One is the fight-flight response. So this is what gets us out of danger. A lot of mental emotional stress triggers the fight flight response. And what happens is cortisol is released and is converted into glucose in the bloodstream, which is sugar. 
to give you fuel to escape or fight back the situation. Okay? Your nervous system feels it's in danger. It's also the most powerful anti-inflammatory in the body. So I look at inflammation like fire. So let's say you got an injured knee. Okay, that area that's injured, that's in pain, is on fire. So for the body to repair that force, it has to put the fire out. So it calls upon cortisol. It's an anti-inflammatory. So cortisol puts that fire out so that knee now can heal and repair. So this is where the structural stress comes into it. But then also your internal stresses. So if you've got food sensitivities, if, if there's foods that you eat that irritate your gut wall, that's going to cause inflammation. And then if there's inflammation in your gut, that's going to affect the food that you absorb. If you're not absorbing food properly, the food can become rancid. And this is when bacteria can start thriving in the rancid food. And this leaves the door open to parasites and a host of other issues. So what we need to do is release the cortisol to put the inflammation out, clean up the diet that it doesn't cause inflammation, and the cortisol put the inflammation out so now the body can heal and repair the gut lining so now you can actually absorb the nutrients. And it also regulates your blood sugar. Now it's your adrenal glands that release cortisol. So when your brain senses any stressor, it's going to send a signal to the adrenal glands to release cortisol. So that's where that cortisol tap gets turned on. Any inflammation and also to regulate the blood sugar. Now, they used to think the adrenals get tired if there's too much cortisol for long periods of time. And they call it adrenal fatigue. But it's not that the adrenals get tired. It's that the brain stops communicating or slows down the communication to the adrenals because too much cortisol is catabolic to the body. It's a very important hormone. We need it. But too much of it for long periods of time will break the body down. So we actually call it adrenal dysfunction now. So the, it's actually a dysfunction. The communication uh, to the adrenal glands isn't working the way it should be. So hopefully now you see how important it is to empty your stress bucket okay, and lower stress on the body. And we do this by adopting the DRESS protocol. It's DRESS that empties the stress bucket. Now, I like to look at the body as a vehicle that has to carry us through life. And life's never going to be smooth and sunshine and rainbows. It's going to have bumps and drops. So we want to imagine that we're building this strong, robust vehicle. I like to imagine an off-road truck that can handle all different types of terrain. So dress builds a robust system that can deal with the stresses that life throws at us. So that's a goal, to build a strong body that can deal with whatever comes our way. Okay, so let's dive in to the DRESS protocol and we're going to start off with diet. We're going to keep things really simple here. We're looking for an anti-inflammatory diet, that's it, and eating really good quality food. Keep it really simple. There's so many fad diets out there, it's so easy to overcomplicate things and stress out over it. We're just going to focus on food that doesn't cause an inflammatory response. All right. For the most part, that's going to be meat, fruit, veg, seeds, and nuts. Gluten, which comes from a lot of grains, and dairy cause a host of issues for most of the population. So just by taking out gluten and dairy, people can really see a lot of benefits pretty quick as well. Now, you can have issues with vegetables. Some vegetables might cause problems for one person and not the other. Now, you can do a food sensitivity test to see exactly what foods you can and cannot eat, but you can also try an elimination diet where you take out a vegetable, let's say some vegetable that you eat regularly. You can maybe take it out and try and replace it with something else, something new, and then see if that improves your symptoms. For meats, instead of eating chicken, maybe try turkey for a while. Instead of beef, maybe try pork, whatever it might be. But just rotating the diet a little bit, maybe pick one or two different foods, give that a go for a couple of weeks and see if you see any improvement. So that's one way of approaching it. But we've got to be eating good quality foods, get the nutrients in, because if you're dealing with burnout, your system's run down and it needs to replenish. This is a quote from a book called Adrenal Fatigue, the 24th Century Stress Syndrome from James L. Wilson. By the time you're in a state of adrenal fatigue, what they call now dysfunction, your cells have used up much of your body's stored nutrients and are in a desperate need for new supply just to continue function, let alone heal. Okay, so we've got to lower that inflammation and eating clean food. Keep it organic 
and stick to your vegetables we're going to go into a little bit more detail and good quality meats and we'll put you on a little plan so we want to avoid fad diets every couple of months a couple of years there's a new diet that comes on the block right now intermittent fasting is very popular now intermittent fasting is a great tool has a lot of health benefits and typically what intermittent fasting is you stop eating at 8 p.m. and then you don't eat again till 12 p.m. the following day so it's a great way to give your digestive system a bit of a break because we definitely do eat too much and it's overworked and we allow some healing and the body can actually the gut can repair but for someone who's dealing with burnout adrenal dysfunction high anxiety the systems just run into the ground we don't want to go through these prolonged fasts we need as we just mentioned the body needs the nutrients so we need to keep feeding it feed it the right amount and the right foods the ketogenic diet is a, another very effective diet and that's a very low carb diet and it forces the body to break fat down for fuel breaks fat down into ketones the brain thrives on these ketones and it's great for brain function has a whole host of health benefits but the, the carbohydrate levels are too low for the ketogenic diet okay for someone again dealing with adrenal dysfunction because the cortisol is what's going to be called upon to bring the sugar levels back up we mentioned the cortisol has three main roles and one of them was regulating blood sugar and this is how it works so when our sugar levels are normal that's when our brain functions properly and our cells are getting the, the energy it needs now if you eat a high sugary high carbohydrate meal your sugar levels will spike and then insulin is going to be called upon okay to bring the sugar levels back down because insulin is like the key to the cells it takes the sugar and it opens up the cells and puts the sugar in and that will lower the blood sugar back down to normal again and this is fine but if we do if you have too much carbohydrate too much sugar in our diet what can happen is we get these big spikes and eventually sugar levels will crash and if the sugar levels get too low your symptoms of brain fog and feeling sluggish well the adrenal glands are called upon to release cortisol because cortisol gets converted into glucose in the bloodstream just like that fight flight response right so this, the cortisol levels will bring it back up so we want to be careful with the carbohydrates if we're eating far too much carbohydrates we're running the risk of these sugar level crashes and more stress on those adrenals but then if we go with diets that are like ketogenic and intermittent fasting where the sugar levels can drop too low again this is going to be just calling upon more cortisol and that's what we're trying to avoid adrenal fatigue dysfunction can result in low blood sugar levels by not releasing enough cortisol affecting mood and energy levels so the cortisol is not being produced because of adrenal dysfunction then we can run the risk of low blood sugar so we need to maintain the sugar levels by eating the right amount of carbohydrates so how do we approach diet well this acronym comes from health coach Sean Croxton Jeff just eat real food so to try and keep diet as simple as possible if it grows in the ground if it runs on the land flies in the sky or swims in the water it's pretty much good to go so that's meat fruit veg seeds and nuts now for the carbohydrates we want to get most of our carbohydrates from root vegetables such as yams sweet potato and fruit we want to stay away from the grains because they're going to cause an inflammatory response especially gluten so we want to move away from that and again just keeping diet simple we definitely do make it too complex now we do need an individual approach depending on your genetic background some people need more carbohydrates just to regulate the sugar levels than others but again you can just modify play with the carbohydrates and for the most part just keep things organic and clean and you're going to get some good results next we're going to look at is rest okay say good night to your sleepless nights sleep is not just to provide you with energy for the following day so here we have the circadian rhythm now that is the cortisol production throughout the day is what gives us the circadian rhythm 
what we should see is nice and high cortisol in the morning as you can see there that black line represents cortisol so at 9 a.m cortisol is nice and high that gets you up out of bed and allows you to get through get you through the day while the sun is up and get your work done as the day progresses that black line drops off so the cortisol starts to lower and it gets you ready for bed the white line is melatonin so melatonin is the sleep hormone but it's the most powerful antioxidant in the body so it fights oxidative stress and you can look at oxidative stress like the buildup of rust on the organs the more oxidative stress we have the, the faster the aging process is going to be. So we want to get that melatonin in. We want to get to bed at a good time so that the melatonin can clear off this buildup of rust on the organs. So you see there 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. that white line is very high and this is the physical repair. So this is when the body is repairing and uh, the organs are detoxifying and the body's just repairing from all the stress it dealt with that day. And then at 2 a.m. to 6 a.m., you got the psychological repair. So now the brain is detoxifying. They only found out about this recently enough that the brain has its own lymphatic system. It's called a glyphatic system. And now the brain is flushing out its toxins. Now the problem is if we go to bed late, let's say we're going to bed at 1 a.m. or even 2 a.m., we're missing out on that physical repair. Melatonin was already being released from 10 a.m. and you weren't asleep to make use of it. So then we go straight in. If we get asleep at 2 a.m., we're going straight into the psychological repair and we miss that physical repair. So you can see here the importance of getting to bed at a good time. So we want to try and get a routine. That's been shown the best way to get to bed is to create a routine so the body then can prepare itself for sleep. So if you always do a certain ritual before you go to bed, it's a way of telling the body, okay, now it's time to, to get ready for sleep. I myself usually have a hot bath before I go to bed and I'll do a bit of reading and that usually sets me up for my sleep. But you can see here, this is so important that you're getting to bed at 10 o'clock or 10.30 and no later, especially in the position that you're in. So we just looked at diet and rest, those first two pillars, and they're going to be the most important for you right now if you're dealing with burnout. Next we're going to look at is exercise. For exercise, we're going to look at working in versus working out. So first we're going to look at working out. And typically this is what we think when we think of working out. It's not a workout unless you're lying on your back in a pool of sweat just gasping for air. Now, there is a time for these type of workouts where they can be beneficial. But for somebody who can handle that amount of stress, because that's very stressful on the system. But for you, you want to stay away from working out, and here's why. It's too risky when you're dealing with adrenal dysfunction. Risk of injury goes up and usually makes the symptoms worse. I even have people saying that they can't go for a light jog. They go for a light jog and they come back and they're just far worse than where they were and before they went. That's because it's too much of a load. So you want to stay away from working out. So what you want to be doing is focusing on working in. If you're watching this webinar, stay away from the workouts. That's too stressful. So what does working in consist of? It improves posture with corrective exercises. Okay, so as we improve posture, it takes stress off the joints. It allows deeper diaphragmatic breath so you can get oxygen around the body. It also improves confidence. So it's a great way to lower stress on the structure, improve your posture, and it makes you just feel better. Movements combined with breath work, such as yoga and tai chi, it's a great way to energize the body. Okay, and it's low intensity, and you can just stretch out those tight muscles. And again, this is another great form of walking in. Meditation, great way to lower the mental emotional stress. Okay, it might mean just put five minutes by each day. There's a lot of information online to how to approach meditation. There's some great apps out there. So there's a lot of information out there on meditation. Maybe put by a five minute practice each day to start and then improve on the time. It's a great way to lower the mental emotional stress. So again, the benefits of walking in, improve your posture, lowers stress on the joints, it energizes and recharges the body, as well as promotes good blood flow. Okay, so now we're getting oxygen around the body, we're getting the blood pumping around the body, the blood carries the nutrients for the body to repair. 
So focus on walking in and don't look at walking out until later down the road when you're in that position where you can. So this is just a quick overview of how I approach building a strong body. So I got three phases. Phase one is for a full stress bucket and we're just focusing on walking in. So this is postural walk to take the stress off the joints uh, as well as working on the inner unit, getting that core nice and strong so that it can progress into the bigger lifts later down the road. Phase one could last for one month to three months maybe even more depending on the person. It's going to be a very individual approach, of course, but uh, one to two months, let's say, for a lot of people in phase one. Phase two is a moderate stress load, so after lowering that stress bucket enough through lifestyle changes and the, the help of postural core strength and work from phase one. So in phase two exercises, now we're looking at low intensity exercises to work on structural balance. Okay, so we're trying to balance out the, the pushing muscles to the pulling muscles, the muscles at the front and the muscles at the back, making sure that they're evenly balanced and we're not overdeveloped on one end, causing more stress on the opposite side. So we're introducing some free weights, but we're not training to failure. Okay, you shouldn't feel tired coming out of the gym after a phase two workout. And again, this could be month two, month three for the individual, depending again on how much stress is on their system and how well they implemented the lifestyle changes. Now, phase three is when we are at a low stress load. So now we're able to work out. So you can train like an athlete safely. You already did the foundation with the past phases. Okay, you got your posture and your core strong. With phase two, we worked on balancing the body out. And in phase three, we're ready for the primal movement, such as squatting, lunging, pull, push, carry, hinge. But every workout is still followed by a work-in session. Because phase three exercises or workouts are pretty intense, so it's stressful on the system, but we have enough of a buffer in the bucket that it can handle this stress, and the body's going to rebound even stronger after this workout. But we got to make sure that we fit in a work-in exercise just to help lower the stress that we're after putting on the body. So now we're going to look at stress reduction and supplements. Okay, so we spoke about mental emotional stress. It's a huge one when it comes to filling up that stress bucket. Talk therapy can be very helpful, but may not be the best option if it's someone dealing with unresolved trauma. So if there is some trauma, maybe you don't even know you're dealing with some trauma. It could have been something that happened to you years ago when you were younger and you maybe forgot about it or you're just pushing it in the back and something you ignore. Well, your nervous system holds on to that and feels that and sees that as a threat. So trauma needs to be addressed. Talk therapy sometimes isn't the best option because the nervous system doesn't understand language. There is some therapy out there, such as somatic experiencing therapy, EMDR, and TRE therapy. TRE stands for trauma releasing exercise therapy. So this is a different approach. It's definitely worth looking into. I won't go any more into trauma, but if that is something that you feel that you are dealing with, check out some of these uh, practices. I highly recommend somatic experiencing therapy. So next we're going to look at is supplements. So when it comes to supplements, we want quality, okay? There are some things in life you should not look for a discount with. That's scuba diving equipment, parachutes, and nutritional supplements. There's so much junk out there, and a lot of studies show that these lower quality brands, when they ran tests and see how much we absorb from them, in a lot of cases it was zero. Okay, so go into your local health food shop, tell them you want the quality brands, they'll know. There's a couple that I like to use, such as Designs for Health. Uh, BioHealth is another one, as well as Torn, T-H-O-R-N-E. But again, they'll be able to help you out in the shop. So you want to get yourself a good adrenal support. Now, I brought this product out because I wanted to create a simple product with very effective ingredients. I'm not a big fan of supplements myself, but when feeling run down, there's a great booster. It'll help speed up the healing process. You got holy basil, which is an adaptogenic herb, helps improve the mood. 5-HTP works as a natural anti-anxiety. So again, it'll help with the anxiety, help the body relax, but also boost serotonin. 
it's a neurotransmitter to give you that happy feeling so 5-htp is the precursor for serotonin um, if you're taking any SSRIs or any anti-anxieties you do not want to take 5-htp because it's going to be trying to do the same job and they'll clash and they just shouldn't be taken together but if you're not on any SSRIs 5-htp is an awesome product so that's in this supplement so it'll help with the mood and then you got magnesium glycinate now magnesium plays over 300 roles in the body okay and it, it's it gets depleted with the more stress that we're under and one of its main roles is to keep the body calm and the muscles relaxed so you got magnesium glycinate in there vitamin c to boost the immune system now, vitamin c works as an antioxidant within the adrenal cortex itself so you look at oxidative stress like the buildup of rust okay so the adrenals if there's too much stress on the body you look at it like the rust starts to build up on the organ and vitamin c will come along and get rid of that rust and essentially slowing down the aging process and then the b vitamins are very important for the nervous system you can get this product at, at www.adrenalboost.ca and you can order it from there if you live in Canada or the United States. So now you have the DRESS protocol. Adopt these principles, diet, rest, exercise, stress reduction and supplements. So you can turn off the threat response and put your body in a position to heal. Your nervous system doesn't have to worry about being chased by a lion anymore. So adopt these principles and reap the benefits. So you're here because you want to end the feelings of fatigue, anxiety, or fed up of always being run down. And you now know what the three culprits that fill your stress bucket are. You also know my five discoveries to empty that bucket. That the only smart way forward is to keep an eye on your stress bucket using my dress protocol. We can do this together. Just imagine how great it'll feel when you finally no longer have to struggle to get through every day. And if you'd like me to help you do this, then I'd be more than happy to. So let me give you an overlook of what my 90-day adrenal repair program looks like. Now before I start anybody on my program, I make sure to get the all clear from the doctor so we know that there's no underlying issue. Once you get the all clear, then we know it's about moving your body into a place where you can heal and repair. And we talked about the dress protocol, which covers that. Okay, within my program, we don't use any expensive lab work. Okay, we save a lot of money here. If you go to a naturopathic doctor, chances are you'll do one lab work after another. It can get very expensive. And what I found from my experience was that you weren't getting that return for investment. So instead, we use a comprehensive questionnaire to evaluate your stress bucket. And this questionnaire looks into your brain health, digestion, detoxification systems, your hormones. It gives me everything that I need to know. From there, you get the Dress for Success ebook, which covers everything that this webinar just showed you. And you get a personalized fitness and lifestyle program to bone fat and build muscle fast. And I'm there to coach you through this 90 day protocol. And my goal is to have you riding off into the sunset with all the tools you need after you finish these 90 days that you can look after yourself and prevent burnout from ever happening again. Now this is not for you if you don't believe you can change your lifestyle if you don't have that drive and that motivation. You're not driven or willing to do whatever it takes to take control of your health again. And if you're not going to show up for the call. Now this is for you if your health is now your number one priority. And you're willing to do whatever it takes to get better. And you want to have the tools to never experience burnout again. So here's what to do next. Simply email me at adrenalrepair.com at gmail.com with the subject line online coaching now I'll get back to you within 48 hours so we can schedule in a phone call and we can sit down and talk about your goals and how I'm going to help you get there you can also visit my website at www.adrenalrepair.com for more information so take advantage of this opportunity now
Again, email me at adrenalrepair at gmail.com. Let's get the ball rolling. Stay safe and talk soon.